the strength. I'm looking for, for somebody that's ready to carry on the legacy that's been set. Creativity. They're put to the test. Energy. It's like, man, I am on espresso shots after espresso shots. Let's go. All go into answering the question. Can you embody the character that is Brutus Buckeye? The journey to becoming Ohio State's favorite nut all starts with one simple form. In as many lines as you want, you tell me why you want to be Brutus. And after some Q&A sessions with the coaching staff, Brutus was ready to put his skills to the test. Paul Kogan, headbang, that's a baseline. If you can get that to look pretty consistent, I can work with you. Ten costume candidates reacted to real-life scenarios in front of a panel of judges. When a situation happens, can you respond the way Brutus would respond and just you know, make it entertaining or spin it as a positive no matter what's coming at you. Going through the checkout line and you get flagged by the metal detector and they have to check you out. Go. And perform skits to show an extra special something. Kind of look for something called an X factor. You know, what's a talent that you have that would be cool to see Brutus bring to fruition? Brutus, you know, be a great dancer. He was playing the drums in the band. In the end, scores were calculated and six of the ten candidates were selected for the team, ready to literally embody Brutus Buckeye. You, you are him. You be, you, the two of you become one. And honestly, sometimes you forget that you're actually in the outfit. Emily Williams has been judging the tryouts for a decade, but before that, she was doing headstands of her own. I am the first female Brutus since 1983. You're getting your shoes on. My hair was about to go into a ponytail with some clips. She's one of three documented women to ever be Brutus Buckeye. I knew when I tried out, being the only female in the group, that it was going to be an uphill battle. But it didn't stop her from putting on a show. Sometimes I would cheer a football game for three hours uh, in the in the afternoon, and then I would go back to my apartment, take a you know a couple hours cat nap in the outfit, <laughs> and then I would go to the shot and cheer an ice hockey game for three more for three more hours. That's basically a 100 degree day and losing 10 pounds in water weight due to all the sweating. Or it's being a part of the tradition the after here. her graduation. So I ran that. She now serves on the Brutus Advisory Board, supporting future Brutai in as many ways as possible. Having them as a resource just to say, hey, I was Brutus, you're Brutus, he you kind of helped me out. It's been phenomenal. You'll rarely ever know who exactly is under the disguise. Because if you did, I'm told the magic would be ruined. So for all you know, there's just one Brutus, and I, I really have to leave it at that. You're, you're part of something special, and you don't necessarily have to share it with everyone. But what does it really mean to be Brutus Buckeye? Head coach Ray Sharp can't help but get excited when he thinks about it. I'm just getting chills thinking about it. It's, it's the coolest thing ever. It's like one person, is, he's got all this excitement, and he's cultivating that amongst everyone and just channeling it all to him. It's just, it's incredible. He explains it's not all fun and games. This past year, we did over 400 events, both in and out of suits. You gotta sacrifice, you gotta be willing to say, you know what, uh, maybe I can't sleep in today, or you know, maybe I have to go to bed a little bit later just because I had to do this event. And Brutus doesn't only support the Ohio State football and basketball teams. He's visiting newborns in the hospital. Spending time in the community and with his fellow Buckeye students. Just the opportunity to interact with your um, immediate community 
in a way that you know is going to generate joy every time, like, it's, it's incredible. Emily said her favorite experience as Brutus wasn't the 2002 National Championship. Instead, it was when she went to visit a boy named Sam. He had terminal cancer, and I went to his house as Brutus. And, you know, that event was his national championship game because I made his day, and that was just, I'll never forget the look on, on Sam's face when, when he gave me a hug and said, Brutus, you know, that, that this is one of the things that I wanted to, to do before I go. I, I wanted to meet you. It's bigger. Brutus is the face of the university. Than just putting on a costume. As you realize there, there's many years of tradition that, that goes into Brutus before me. It's something Coach Sharp says is hard to explain until you walk into your first event as Brutus. And he has one final message for any student ready to take on the challenge. Come try out. In worst case scenario, you got to put on the you got to put on the head. For Lantern TV, I'm Jenna Linusars.